As if the heat wave and drought were not enough, now mosquitoes are showing up in very big numbers. Abatement crews say the high temperatures are causing them to multiply. New specialist Mike Anderson is live in Bountiful. Mike, last week it was grasshoppers, now mosquitoes. You'd think less water would mean fewer mosquitoes. Yeah, you would hope so, uh, Dini and Dan. You know, actually, the mosquitoes that uh, breed in the floodwaters are way down, as you'd expect. But the ones that breed in the existing wetlands are thriving. And to make matters worse, they are the ones that are known to carry West Nile virus. On the southwest end of Davis County, abatement tech Trevor Larson is searching the wetlands for water and with little success. It's all dry. But in the areas where there is standing water, you'll be disappointed to hear the mosquitoes are doing very well. We're seeing numbers now uh, like we normally would in our peak at, in the end of July, first part of August. Gary Hatch, director of Davis County's Mosquito Abatement District, says it could be an early peak or a sign that a much bigger peak will hit in a few weeks. So when the heat started to come on in, in May, we, we were very concerned and we actually started to see their numbers climbing. Many of their traps are coming in full. These are the Culex tarsalis. These carry West Nile virus. That's where the greater concern comes. That's why their labs started testing early. And we have detected West Nile virus earlier than we ever have. Which could mean more cases of the disease. And not to be a downer, but there is yet one more hurdle to overcome this year. Texts like Larson are being hit with double duty. Much like everywhere else, Hatch is having trouble hiring summer help. Right now, they're working with about half the staff that they'd like. This is by far the most challenging year we've had with the, with the heat, the number of mosquitoes we're seeing, the lack of employees we have. And Hatch has been with Davis County for 27 years. He says everyone will have to be more vigilant outside, using repellent, and if you can stand it, long sleeves and pants. And these mosquitoes in particular are known to bite after the sun goes down, but Hatch says they can be very aggressive, and he also adds, as usual, uh, please try to avoid having any uh, standing water around your house. Back to you. I know, Mike, you said uh, not to be a downer, but it seems like that's what we're saying with all of this drought and heat and everything. Hard not to be. Thanks.